Hey, what's up, everyone? We are here celebrating the documentary of Dan, aka Dan, who's right there, actually, uh, hugging Yuri. Dan. But um, uh, we got dumbfounded, of course. So first of all, man, a lot of the girls cried at this documentary. Did you hold it together, or you you shed a tear a little? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, my I was getting watery. You know what I'm saying? I don't usually get like that, but it, the story was touching. It means the documentary, you know, served its purpose and got the story across. You know, so. Now you know Dan for a little bit, like for a while. Uh, what was the like the thing that you're most surprised learning about him watching the film? Um, honestly, I, I think I learned a lot about Dan throughout the whole film. Like, I've known him for a long time, but I didn't feel like I really knew him and, or understood where he came from, you know what I mean? And, and certain even behaviors with him throughout the years and him trying to identify his Asian roots and stuff, man, like, it made sense after I saw the documentary, yeah. you know what I mean? So. Because if you didn't know, Dan's family is white. They're like middle America, like, right, right. Republican white, so it was cool seeing I him. think it really made me understand, not just Dan, but anybody who kind of comes from that, who's a different ethnicity, wanting to find their roots. You know, I really yeah. understand, I felt their pain, I felt their, you know, curiosity, I felt a lot of that, so. Absolutely. And uh, this is a crazy turnout for him, right? I mean, this is insane, it's packed. Yeah, it's great, it's great. Right? Um, so we are uh, talking about his twin brother. He has this crazy twin brother. If you found out you had an identical twin brother living in another country, what would be the first thing you'd want to do with that guy? Man, I would say, you know, go grab drinks and just talk <laughs> to each other, really. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, definitely just open up and just really find out things about him that will maybe help me find out more things about myself, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So what's going on with you this year? I know you've been putting out music. I mean, you're always busy. You're always doing something. What, what do you got going on this year? Same, man. I want to you know, put out a lot more music, a lot more content. I want to get into acting, filmmaking, like a lot, of, a lot of different interests that have nothing to do with rap, you know? Yeah. So. What, what would be your ideal character to play if you were going to get, um, you know, be in a film? What's your ideal character that you'd like to take on? I love joking around and being a clown and shit and just making jokes, but I, I would actually like to play some dramatic roles, you know yeah. what I mean? I would love to just see... You know, I would like to see, challenge myself and, you know, like get to places emotionally that I never thought I could get to, you know, so. Absolutely. And then lastly, music-wise, what's inspiring you, like, maybe in general and acting with everything, what's inspiring you right now? Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I would say a lot of traveling that isn't related to just music, you yeah. know, like, I travel for music, but it's not really, it's like, part of it's work, even though it doesn't feel like work, but still, like, I want to just travel and just not do anything musical, just yeah. kind of experience the country, or just whatever, you know, so. Absolutely. All right, well, shout out to my man, Dumbfounded. Shout out to Dan, right? What do you want to say to Dan? Yeah, I'm very, very impressed with the documentary, and uh, I think uh, he did a great job with it, man, and I have a lot of respect uh, for, you know, I didn't know what to expect, and I, I came out, you know, really blown away, so it was dope. That's good. Come from Dumbfounded. All right, you guys, make sure you check out Dan's documentary. It's going to be on ISA, coming soon.